Welcome back everyone. Tonight, Saginaw, the community paying respects to someone, just a powerful source of hope to so many people and for so many years. Sister Marietta Fritz uh, is that person. So joining us this morning from Amaya's house, we have Donna Clark and Jennifer Houch. So thank you both for being here this morning. Thanks for thank having you. us. Absolutely, my pleasure. Just tell us for our viewers who may not be familiar with Amaya's house, the mission of it, and just kind of Sister Fritz's role in, in it. Okay, Amaya's house is a home for women coming from jail, prison, or rehab. Um, we, not only is it a home, but it is focusing mainly on substance abuse and behavior modification. Mm -hmm. We have restructured it more into there, but when Sister Marietta created Amaya's house, she was doing jail ministry at our Saginaw County Jail. She would give ladies a ride home from being incarcerated with nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. And she would drop them off on a street corner mm. and then they would go back to what they know, which would end them right back up in jail. Right. So she wanted to stop that revolving door of the jail and she created Amaya's house in 1987. Um, I, thousands of women have come through her doors and she was the most forgiving person. Her middle name should have been forgiveness yeah. because the love and forgiveness, and she was tough, she really was. But the love and forgiveness um, welcomed so many women and changed lives. And that's what, when we stepped in, we could never fill her shoes. Mm -hmm. We are carrying on a legacy that she created and um, she will forever be missed. But I find comfort in knowing that we have a guardian angel with us forever because it was her life. Amaya's house was her, her main um, goal in life was yeah. to help women who were lost. And, and she and she did. And she did. Absolutely, she did. You are two testaments. Absolutely. Yeah. I would not be here where I am today without the Amaya's house. It saved my life, 100%. And um, I have so much gratitude for her for creating this beautiful place that we called home. Yeah. And we still, I still call home. Um, it's in our heart forever. And just what a genius of an idea to help this community and to help the women change their lives. Yes, and Jennifer, tell me a little bit of what you hope to extend here at Emmaus House that, you know, Sister Marietta maybe had in her leadership. Sure, she, um, she founded it on love, and I think that's, that's the component that we continue to, to carry on. Yeah. Uh, the ladies come to us broken, and we love them until they love themselves, and we, uh, we give them hope. I hope that that keeps going and I hope we see that that the the addiction and the the trauma that they've had in the past doesn't have to continue yeah so your executive director if I'm yes. not mistaken that is amazing because you said you were you know you were one of those women who came in and basically under her her leadership or the mission leadership so uh, did you guys want to share at all just a little bit of your story or journey um, and kind of what trigger, I guess, flipped in your, in your mind to be like, I need to stop doing this so I could be a part of this mission. The both, and Jen and I, I will speak for Jen because I know her. I came in 2017 and Jen came a couple weeks later. Okay. Um, as guests, we both were hopeless, broken. I had been a heroin addict for 20 years. Jen's um, substance was alcohol mm. and we both had no other options, the gift of desperation. Because my family was done with me, hers was done with her. Mm. And we, we came into this program and we didn't have to pay anything. And they gave us rides wherever we needed to go. They gave us food and clothing because we have a thrift store where everything's free. Yeah. And I said, Jen, what's the catch? Like, what do they want from us? And she, they didn't want anything from us. They wanted us to succeed and get well and be happy. Mm -hmm. um, we both stayed a while. And um, I can't tell you, we, I had, a recovery coach, a therapist, mentors within Emmaus House. If you had a problem, they were going to solve it. If they couldn't solve it, they would find somebody who could. That support is what's necessary to get well. You can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. It took a team. And she was my person because um, I, she was so much like me and we both knew in our hearts we wanted to be done, we wanted a new life. Yeah. And we couldn't have done it without this beautiful place that was created by an amazing woman. And um, that's what we, we do now. The love and forgiveness is first. Yeah. And we're strict and, and we can be tough at times because in the streets there are no rules. Right. We have rules, 
but we also have forgiveness and we understand we found the way out. So we want to lay out a path for these ladies to change their lives and to save their lives. Yeah. Because so many people are dying now with this epidemic of opiates, with fentanyl and xylazine, and we just want them not only to be clean and sober and get well, to change their lives, but to be happy. Once you're happy, yeah. there's no need to put a substance in your body anymore. And boy, I wish I would have got that 20 years ago. Right. But it took what it took. And when these ladies come in, we both get the moments like, oh, that's me. Yeah. And it that's, reminds me of who I am and where I came from and that we never want to go back. And these ladies are us. And we tell them all of our stories, the horror stories, the yeah. funny stories, because we want them to know there's nothing you can tell us that's going to shock us. Right. We've been there. Yeah. I know that I know how it is to be homeless. I know what it's like to be incarcerated. I know what it's like to go through withdrawal symptoms. Um, all that, so when they're feeling emotional and a wreck, they come in and talk to us because they know that we've been there and we found our way out. Yeah, this is a great story to, uh, stories that you guys are telling. So of course, people want to memorialize uh, Sister Marietta Fritz. Tell us how we can attend your memorial service tonight. Well, it, as I said, she, um, her funeral was down in Ohio and yeah. many people couldn't make it. So we wanted to set a special memorial on the 15th of September because that is the day that she started Emmaus House back in 1987. Mm -hmm. So it is tonight at seven o'clock it is at St. Thomas Aquinas on State Street, mm -hmm. and there will be a service, and there will be after um, congregation hour just to, um, for the ladies, the past ladies that were under Sister Marietta yeah. to, to tell a little bit of their stories. Um, there's so many stories that um, we love still hearing the stories that we never heard because we unfortunately, Sister Marietta had retired yeah. when we got there, right. but I had the pleasure of meeting her and so did Jen many times, amazing woman. Amazing. Yes. I appreciate you both coming in and sharing this information with our viewers. Anyone's invited. Everybody's yes. invited. Perfect. Thank you both, and uh, we will definitely put this information on our website as well. Just Great. thank you again. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, of course. Yes, yeah, so get that information by going to the hot links section on our website, WNEM.com.